fire going on for two items. My brother was so excited about me visiting him in South Africa that him and his daughter Kiki decided to gather some of his closest friends, all foodies, and throw a cocktail party. But more so, he decided to use my outstanding talents as a chef to make a wine and food pairing with his different vintages, two whites and three reds. Los que tienen pescado, los primeros dos. Los primeros dos y después todo lo más tiene carne. Todo lo más tiene carne. Tenemos las empanadas, obviamente. My Japanese friends must be laughing. Japanese dudes are so picky with their fish. My God, it's like Italians. Italians speak, I, I noticed, an average of 15 minutes a day about pasta. The first course was king clip. A very common fish in South Africa. I sliced it thin, sprinkled some scallions, breadcrumbs and a hint of lemon. Since I was prepping everything on my own and we had about 40 guests and five dishes to taste, I had to be very organized. So I started to prep the lobsters and a few other items ahead of time. All right, this is our pre-event toast. Yay, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, we are. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's get this straight. South Africa has outstanding produce, incredible foraging, and certainly excellent meats and fish. This is a lobster scallops with some coconut milk, um, lemongrass, and ginger. That was exceptional. So good. So good. So where's the 2009? Why do they call it the 2009? I deboned some chicken wings, which I then seared until crispy, and served them with goat cheese, black olives, and sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna do our last dish. It's a uh, lamb. Um, Skewers or they call them sosotis here. Yeah. We're doing fennel confit, we're doing celery root, and we're doing a little bit of dried mango. So after plating 200 dishes on my own and enjoying every bit of it, it was time for me to go and have some more wine and enjoy the company. Cake is done. Ah!